I got me one of these from eBay. This is the first time I've even touched one of these. Obviously it's an Xbox Series X. I paid £250 for it. And apparently it's got a dodgy HDMI port. So let's test it. Okay, let's turn it on. It comes on. White light, nothing on the screen. Let's try wiggling the HDMI cable. Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! No! <laughs> yes! Right, okay. I think it's pretty obvious that there is a problem with the HDMI port. Let's turn it off. Another accurate eBay description. I like it. Like I said before, I've never owned one of these. Never touched one before. Ooh. Consequently, I have no idea how to take it apart. So, I'm going to give it a go. I presume we start here somewhere. I think there's a screw in there. And one behind here. Doesn't look like it's been taken apart before. Which is nice. Okay, well that was relatively straightforward. There is quite a bit of dust in here, so it does need a good clean. I'm just looking at this HDMI port here. If you look at here, there's a gap where it looks like the HDMI port has been sort of bent out a little bit. I did, I did this on an Xbox One, and all it was was that just needed pushing together so that the HDMI cable fit in properly. And I'm tempted to try that before I go any further. It would make this an incredibly easy fix, but you know what? Let's try it. And you see the way it just sort of... No, it can't be as easy as that. It really can't. But that is... Now... Solid. Again. Imagine if it was just that. Let's try it. Okay, well nothing's come up yet, so I don't think it is as easy as that. Right, I've just pulled the HDMI cable out slightly and as you can see it's staying on if I push it back in it goes off so it's definitely better but there's obviously still something wrong with the port so I think the sensible thing to do would be to replace the port right let's carry on now what do I do Series X, a first for this Steve. The simple HDMI swap was that too naive. He forgot to change his name from Kanye Lingus. Fine by me, could have been biggest dickers. Gonna do the rest alphabetically. Probably gonna regret it, but hey, let's see. A1 Base, Alan Marks, and Adam Taylor. Andrea Fascio, Ben Rush, bring the flavor. Daft Willie, Ellis Carpet, Emilio Pereira. Fred Chauvier, Flux, the Darth Vader. Infinity, Inflame, Jamrock, Jonathan Harden. Jonathan Wick, Markovitz, 19, Nelly Dunn. Mikada's Monkey Joe, Tokyo Nate. Nid Huaco, Emo Tim, Man, getting late. Oz Newton and Ron's Vintage Electronics Titter, Two Shed, Western in the mix Hiroki, Wham Junkies bring an end to this rap Hooray I hear you say, thank God for that Just before I go I got one more thing to say That thing is peace and have a nice day Right, well there we have it There's the HDMI port, finally well, I mean, that doesn't look bad to me. Solid, 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 solid. I don't think it's a problem with the, the soldering to the board. I think it's just a problem with the port itself. Solid. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't look bad, does it? Is that one bent there, maybe? Well, the whole thing, yeah, it does move. Okay, so it's very possibly just snapped inside. Yeah, okay. I don't think it's supposed to move that much. Right, well, let's take it off. I've got a few pieces of plastic here, and also this here, this connector, which is very close to here. So I'm going to try and protect those with a bit of aluminum tape. 
Right, I'm just going to try and add some leaded solder down here to lower the melting temperature. And also some here on the anchor points. This board is so thick. Don't think this is gonna work. Nope. I think I'm gonna have to tag it from the other side. Approximately 18 swear words later. I can't get this port off. I'm gonna try a bigger nozzle. I'm going with the trusty no nozzle because I don't know where my bigger ones are. Approximately 18 swear words later. I still can't get it off. Your board is so thick, it's just absorbing all of the heat. I'm just not getting anywhere. Right, I'm going to try like this, see if we can heat up both sides at the same time. It's the only way I can think of. Wow, that's genuinely the hardest port I've ever taken off. I'm pretty sure I've done some damage there, I'd be lucky if I've not. Remarkably, the port's still relatively intact, even though I've just hit it with 500 degrees. Wow, that is quite unbelievable. I don't appear to have pulled any pads. Right, let's try and clean this up a bit. Oh no. I'm guessing there's supposed to be a chip there. Shiver me timbers. Well, it's not there anymore. And I'm never going to find that. It's tiny. Amazingly, I think I found it. I don't know what it is, but all I do know is that it's going to require reballing. <laughs> this just got a lot more difficult. I, I don't think I've got big enough balls for this. In more ways than one. These are actually very, very small, so I think I'm going to try. I'm going to try it without putting balls on. I'm just going to try and get a nice, even coating of solder on here. And if it doesn't work, then I'll probably have to order up some solder balls. I've also just noticed that these two caps are touching. I don't know whether that was like that or whether I've just nudged them. But I need to try and get them back in as well. Uh, I mean, I, I don't I don't know whether this is going to work. There's a little bit of solder on each one. Yeah, I, I don't know. We've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four with a space. One and one, one and one. One, two, three four space one two 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 space one more one two yeah blah 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 just like that so it's the dot in the top left awesome uh, let's give this a go wish me luck <laughs> wow I'll be absolutely flabbergasted if this works well brushing it doesn't make it fall off that's always a good sign <laughs> I've still got to get the port on yet alright well I'm going to have to hope that that's okay let's put the port on We'll see if we can do that without making a complete mess of it. <laughs> Unlikely. Right, we're going to try the hot drop method again.
Right, no idea how that went. Looks pretty good. Let's check the other side. That uh, looks alright too. So the port looks okay. I'm just still worried about this thing down here. Whatever it is. Let's see if this plastic connector held up to all that ridiculous heat. <laughs> very nicely. What about this one? Also very nicely. Wow. That's uh, surprising. I thought I would have melted that for sure. For show. Sure. I'm almost certain this is not going to work. But I'm going to put it back together. As much as I need to to test it at least. Right here goes. It still comes on. That's a good sign. Although it doesn't make the beep. No support. What does that mean? So it knows something's being plugged in. It's not going to show it, is it? I'm going to have one more go. And this time, instead of putting the balls on the board, I'm going to put the balls on the chip. Even though they're not balls. Because I don't have any balls. You, you know what I mean. came off much easier than, than it went on. How does that look? It looks okay apart from that one there. I actually think the chip's damaged because the solder is not sticking to a few of these. Yeah, if you look at this one here, and these two here, solder is not sticking to them. I don't even know what chip it is. Can you buy a replacement? NFD? NFO? I don't know. Right, I was just searching for the chip to see if you can buy them. I don't think you can. But I found this. And apparently this is a bypass for that chip. So it's just an ESD something. And by connecting those points together, you can bypass the chip. I'm going to try it. Call me... David? No. Call me Foolish. I'm going to keep this chip just in case, but I'm pretty sure it's broken it. And oh yeah, I found Dave by the way. Which is a good job because I need him right now to put under this board. Let's do this. This is it difficult?
this all seems to be good. I don't for a minute think it's going to work, but let's put it back together and let's find out. If it works, I'm going to put solder mask on it. I'm not going to bother, because I don't think it's going to work. Confident. Thanks for your help, Dave. Alright, that's it. Back together as much as I think it needs to test. Power it on. Why doesn't it beep anymore? No idea how I pulled that off. Ooh, uh. I haven't put it back together properly. I've still got like bits left over, but they're not important, right? I'm gonna let it finish doing this. Make sure it comes on and all that jazz, and then I'm gonna turn it off and do the solder mask, clean it, put it back together. I won't bore you with that. You've seen me do solder mask hundred times. Or shall I bore you? Yes, yes, I think I will. Right now I just need to give it a good clean, put the three million screws back in, and hope we don't have any bits left over. And there we have it. I've got a single screw left over. Amazing. They might not all be in the right place, but I haven't got any left over. Let's just make sure it still works. It comes on. Oh, ho, ho. And what better way to test it than by playing an Xbox 360 game? Oh. I forgot to put the bloody rubber strap on! Stupid rubber strap thing. And I know you may have drunk your pieces, please. The same old way you struck your father did. What comes around when it goes away? Nothing changes cause it's all the same.